guys welcome it is time for the 2023 fan expo vlog i was given a press pass again this year to visit the convention and uh, i took my friend amy and we had a wonderful time this year i was only able to attend uh two out of the three days so i went the first day and the last day and yeah let's cut to the footage so here's the thing, I haven't used spirit gum before to put your elf ears on so that they don't fall off. So I figured it's the night before Fan Expo, so I should probably try it tonight in case it totally fails and I don't spend my entire morning getting spirit gum everywhere. So I thought it'd be fun. Um, I also have to clean because my apartment's a disaster. I could put my elf ears on and then take them for a spin by cleaning the apartment. So we'll see if I can figure it out. I think dogs should vote. I think dogs should vote. I think dogs should be able to vote. I think dogs should be able to vote. So who wants some? I think I did it. So I'm gonna do a little test. Excellent. Good morning. It is time for Fan Expo day one. So it's gonna take me forever to get ready because I never do makeup and I'm going to try and do makeup. So wish me luck. I'll see you on the other side of the war. Now, the problem though, is that when I put spirit gum on my ear today, I had a bad reaction to it. <laughs> it worked last night, but today, as soon as I put it on and started doing the little tappy tap to make it uh, sticky, my ear felt like it was on fire and it went bright red and it still is really red. <laughs> so. Yeah, we're not gonna use spirit gum today because turns out, I don't know, maybe just on Saturdays, I have an allergy to spirit gum. I don't know. But that means these guys are just hanging on for dear life, Jesus take the wheel, because I don't know how we're, we're gonna get through the whole day with these, but we're gonna try. And my ear is still burning, but <laughs> yeah, hooray. And what is this uh, character you may ask? I don't know and I don't care. I just wanted to look like a cute elf and wear my new Nightmare Before Christmas dungarees. Um, you can't see the whole outfit. Hold on. Let me show you the whole outfit. Here is the whole outfit. Isn't it cute? And then I've got some leg warmers on because it is uh, raining and I gotta watch the convention. So it's gonna be a cold walk, but when you're in a convention, it is super sweaty and gross so i wanted to have as uh, much skin showing as i dare so that i don't overheat um and my whole face looks as red as my poor ear but yeah i did it fan expo so now i'm gonna pack up i'm gonna eat a donut and then we're headed to fan expo i am ready to go got my fanny pack got my vans Got my tutorial backpack. Woo! Oh. Uh -huh. 
So the first day was super fun. Uh, it was incredibly busy. They were actually sold out this year, which has not happened in a long, long time. So it definitely felt very claustrophobic. There was so many people, it was insane. The first day we did a lot of wandering around and kind of getting our bearings. Um, and also we met Robbie Damon from, uh, well, I know him from Critical Role. He's also an incredible voiceover actor and he's voiced a lot of your favorite characters. So he was really lovely to me and he was kind enough to sign my poster for me. I will say there was not a ton of horror related stuff this year. There wasn't really any panels that were of interest to us, especially on the first day, but we still had an amazing time just walking around and looking at all the cosplay and some shopping and just being around a bunch of nerds. So on the first day, I purchased a bunch of dice and then I got this little tiny dragon <laughs> who sits on your desk and protects your dice. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look how little he is. <laughs> Amy named him Philip, so his name is Philip, and he now sits amongst my dice and keeps them safe. On the final day, I was in rough shape <laughs> because I got a sinus infection, as you can probably hear from uh, the sound of my voice. But we still managed to have a pretty decent day. Uh, so yeah, here's that footage. It is the second and last day of Fan Expo. I woke up yesterday with a sinus infection. Yay! <laughs> Perfect timing. So <laughs> I'm feeling a bit better today. Uh, I just have a really sore throat and I feel like my head is swollen like a balloon. Um, <laughs> but I get sinus infections all the time. It's a, it's fine, I'll be fine. But <laughs> it's the final day, I'm so excited. I'm going to attempt to do more makeup and uh, dress up in a new sort of garden fay flowery thing. Let's see, <laughs> let's see if I can pull this off and uh, not feel like I'm dying. day we ended up going to one panel uh, which you would have seen and that was basically just a panel about how to be like a better D&D player just kind of going over some good stuff that you can do to help you know your DM have a great time telling the story and to help your fellow players get more involved if they're struggling to kind of get into the immersive role-playing experience so that was really valuable and uh, the the group that did it were really knowledgeable and that was a really fascinating panel to listen to. On the final day, I also made uh, a very important purchase. It's a witch's hat <laughs> and it's baby pink. <laughs> Is this not my entire aesthetic? Oh my God. Like, <sighs> I love it so much. Am I gonna be wearing this all summer? Yeah, probably. Am I gonna be wearing it while I play video games? Yeah. Definitely. Am I going to be wearing it while I vacuum? Probably. <laughs> the amount of joy this hat brings me, I cannot. It was priceless. It was $20. And I think that's all I purchased. Or no, I think I'm forgetting something. Um, yeah, I think there's one more thing that I got. Yeah, I got a pink lightsaber. <laughs> oh, but wait. Well, what you gonna do now? Ah! Yeah, 
a purchase of ink lightsaber and I have no regrets. That was the entire weekend. So yeah, not a ton of stuff going on because while they were sold out and there were some great guests, there just wasn't a ton of interesting panels, I guess. A lot of it was geared toward kids. Here in BC, it falls on our family day, which is a stat holiday. So they really gear towards that. Like most of the activities and the kind of like cool fun stuff is geared for towards little kids. So I definitely felt that more this year than I think I ever have. And of course, it wasn't a lot of horror stuff either, which, you know, story of our lives as horror fans. But it was phenomenal anyway, you know what I mean? Getting to dress up, you know, as a magical creature and running around a convention filled with thousands of people just like you, it doesn't get any better than that. So a big thank you to Fan Expo for giving me and Amy press passes this year. We greatly appreciate it. I think this is like my seventh year in a row, <laughs> maybe six, but every year I have an amazing amount of fun. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. And hopefully we'll have a even better Fan Expo next year and I'll see you there.